Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update uh, what's been going on, but first I just want to give a huge thanks to everybody out there in the Kickstarter community and everybody else who have found my videos and the Kickstarter and who are uh, backing this project well beyond my wildest expectations. Uh, I just want to go through a few key points here that we have listed. Uh, just so we can give you guys a, a major update as to what's going on here. So pay attention. Uh, this will affect most of the people in, in who are involved in this project. So I want to start off by saying we've pretty much solved all the logistics behind ordering all of our components. We have got quotes for bulk pricing for, for everything from the heat sinks to the transistors. Uh, we have a nice stack here of 9 volt batteries, uh, which we've promised to include with the $50 kits and most probably the $75 kits. Uh, we have the logistics uh, ready to go for printing, printing up all our drawings, uh, stuff like that. We also have uh, the DVD is well under production and we also have a facility that's ready, ready and eager uh, to mass produce our product. So we do have a DVD that's the well, we will be ready to go, and obviously we I have brought in additional people to help me out with the logistics and everything else that's been going on. Despite what you may think, uh, it's been quiet these past few days as far as me uh, uploading updates to YouTube and to the Kickstarter. Things have been crazy behind the scenes. Like I said, we've been contacting many different companies, sourcing out all the components. Uh, another update is that we're moving from the $50 kits. Uh, once those sell out, we won't be adding any more of those. But some of you have noticed we did add a $75 tier. And we did this for multiple reasons. Uh, the, the biggest reason is that the spheres we were able to achieve at a low enough cost with because of your, your support and the high volume that we'll be able to include these for a slight additional charge um, and including the additional charges for shipping. And with those $75 kits, we'll also be able to source more components like more transistors and diodes and stuff like that. So you'll get more out of that $75 kit uh, with the upgrade for the Sphere alone, in addition to us being able to supply you with more components. Um, in addition, we will also be giving you wood components to assemble a base with the $75 kits, which were not specified in the $50 kit so you'll actually receive either a similar base like this or maybe cross sections of wood something that you can fabricate a quick base of uh, for your kit Tesla coil so it's not wobbling or something one less thing that you would have to worry about when you want to have a, a more presentable device and we feel that at that $75 price point we're able to more effectively bring that to you guys uh, um, anything else you want to add? Okay, so obviously due to the volume of orders that we're getting, uh, we brought some more people along uh, to help with the project. Uh, we have pretty much all aspects totally covered now. Uh, we have all the uh, media equipment um, to do really high quality production. Uh, we're going to get the DVDs filmed, um, do really high quality, um, high production value, really well organized, and just to give you guys all the information you need to not only build these, but to do things like solder, um, even basic circuit design, uh, what components do, and give everyone a really uh, good understanding from the very basic levels. Uh, that way if you're uh, explaining to friends and family or doing it for a science project, um, you have a really good grasp of what's going on. So the DVD is going to be a really valuable portion of the kit, and um, like you said earlier, it's going to be professionally mass produced uh, thanks to you guys' uh, donations and uh, we're able to get the volume high enough that that's going to be a possibility now. So uh, that's going to be really exciting. Uh, we have a lot of other stuff that we're working on. We're going to be doing the etched um, PCB circuit boards. So that's going to give a really quality result in the end. Um, basically the more you guys pledge and the more backers we get, uh, the more we're going to be able to do because the prices uh, for bulk volume items go down and we're able to do things a little bit nicer here and there, uh, add more components, add more features. Uh, obviously here we have a, a quick mock-up of a, a production prototype that we we're working on. Now this is um, obviously a little bit nicer than the earlier prototypes. It's moving more towards what the finished product is going to be. It's not exactly uh, what it's going to look like. We're going to obviously 
put all our efforts into delivering the nicest quality product that we can. We have uh, a couple of craftsmen and uh, people who are really skilled at what they do uh, helping us out now. So uh, let's just take a look at the new design. Um, essentially we're using uh, sockets. Hopefully maybe we'll be able to actually incorporate um, a method of plugging it in directly so that you don't have to attach wires. You can just uh, take the top load off. Um, this is on here pretty tight right now. But uh, all this can pop off fairly easily. Um, it would be nice if we could just have it so that you could pop the coil in, pop a top load on, uh, possibly change to a torrid instead of a sphere, um, switch to a different secondary coil, and have everything fairly interchangeable and very quick to set up. And as screwless as possible. Yeah, and as screwless as possible. Um, just to give an overall higher quality and easier to disassemble, and transport, yeah. yep. And you swap, swap components out, as he was saying, like different door designs, yeah. different lengths of L2. Um, obviously, like you said, uh, like I said earlier in previous videos, uh, our driving cir driver circuit will, will, will work well with many different combinations of L1s, L2s, and torrids, as well as different input voltages. So I have this Tesla coil here, which is one of the original prototypes that were was seen. I believe the the popular one with this the popular video with this particular coil is the uh, CFL low test when I held the bulbs in my hand in the fist. So that was this coil right here. So I had it plugged into a nine volt battery. I plugged it in there a couple days ago, um, around one o'clock in the morning, and I forgot about it. And we woke up the next morning, and I held my wand up to it. And lo and behold, I was still getting output. Not that much output, obviously. The battery was pretty pretty well drawn down. Um, but if I mess with it now, almost two days later, if I put it in the right spot, I still get something off of this one as a reading. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see it in the camera. But if we limit this guy to a 14 volt battery pack on a breaker or possibly some kind of fuse, that would be probably the best solution because then this whole unit immediately becomes portable. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we just had to get that update out for you. Of course, there'll be more to come. All right, have a good one.